Hello, Breeds of Spartans. My name is Marine Man. Welcome back to another freaking episode of Destiny 2 Weekly Story Content. And uh, last time we got into the new season, did a whole bunch of shit, and now we're here. Well, to figure out what the next step is, to figure out why, what the hell I need to do to do this shit. And the portal doesn't work. There we go. Bungie still doesn't know how to make portals, which is freaking great. What the hell are these noises, man? So, um... Let's see here. I gotta talk to Eris. Oh. Greetings, Guardian. I am focusing my will... Preparing myself to step into the ritual space once again. When I first transformed, I'm confused. I thought I might become something greater. Instead, my doubts fell away and I found myself simplified. Refined. Though I became Hive, I was more... Myself. I mentioned that to Ikora and she furrowed her brow. I'm so confused. I told her she would have time to worry later. But now, I need tithes. Sword logic may be high philosophy, but your tithes of power are real. And when I absorb them, it feels like hope. Fight in my name, Guardian. Every opponent you defeat strengthens me, from Shax's crucible to Savathun's own throne world. The Hive believe that only the strongest have earned their existence. If a queen cannot hold her power, she must be betrayed. I will not deny them their dogma. I will embody it. So you can just choose to be high form and Eris more in regular form? Unwell? Is that what I'm getting at? Listen to Eris's story about sword logic i already know about sword logic the sword logic the impetus of the hive oryx the taken king Brother to Savathun and Zivu Arav, sought whispers from the worms of fundament and dredged this truth from the deep. All things must prove their right to exist. The rest will die in terror. There is neither escape nor exemption. Simple, essential, beautiful to know. Oryx led his sisters down the bladed path. We have tested ourselves against horrors. We emerged, changed. Through this, we become stronger. We become free. We will avail ourselves of our enemy's tools. Zivu Arath believes every death proves the sword logic. That she unveils the false shape of the Traveler's lie by her blade. But she needs her truth. She is desperate for its vindication. She wishes for a world without grief, or pity, or doubt. Not baleful, not beautiful. A childish cry. The Hive call us liars, the unfree, deniers of the all-edged truth. But I take the power the sword logic offers not out of desperation, but desire. For Crota. Savathun. I will 
viewed their killers as a knife. The Hive know this truth as well as any logic. I am here. And they are not. I am. Further instant sword logic by tuning with an element at Air's Morn's ritual table. W where is that? Tune an element? By reading Eris' notes on sword logic and the secrets of the hive, you, sh you see she believes she can claim deeper power over the throne world by continuing Sabathine's experiments with the light. Attuning to an element will allow you to explore Sabathine's spire more efficiently and augment, it, and augment your own capabilities. Choose an element and begin the ritual. Your decision will impact your initial rewards, though you will ultimately be able to tune with all elements. Okay, I'll just start with art because I main art. Okay. We'll do this step and uh, we'll come back after that. Alright, we're back after the cut and it seems like we have to finish the entombment after going through the actual entombment gathering, I guess. Yeah, I know. I what are you acting like this is my first lost sector I found? But we have to go in here and uh, do something, I guess. Not sure what it is that we have to do. I guess we're gonna do it in here because it's telling me to. Okay. That's the wrong one. Here's the third one. Is there more? Yeah. How many are there? Virtual circle manifest nearby. Okay. New step. Visit the radio at the helm. Okay. Listen to the radio. Excuse me. Strength against her brood. I 
you will prove our logic true. Do you see what you guardians did? Do you see what's happening here? See, Gorat thinks Eris is one of them, some kind of heir to Oryx. What? That ritual of hers tied a pretty bow on that theory. What the fuck? This is all part of Sabathun's plan. But I can't help wondering, what the hell does Eris think she's doing? I want to know too, bro. She knows something we don't. What the fuck? A hair to the hair fucking hive throne, bro? Eris, what are you doing, lady? Are you over here now? Yo, what the fuck? Oh, hey, Drifty! Eris. Heard we have some uh, strange bedfellows. Though, if a bedfellow ain't strange, then they're probably not worth having. So it seems. Have you come to urge caution? To advise against temptation? Nah. You know what you're about. But I'm wondering. What's it like? It begins as a... feral surmise. A suspicion. I hear whispers, but they are in my voice. It rises until I am screaming. I make a demand. An atavistic fear now sublimated into a singular, desperate urge. A hunger I must endlessly sate. But the Hive are not afraid. They are awestruck. They know that I am vengeance. And they have conjured me back with vengeance. Ooh, sounds like a wild ride. I seek to subvert the Hive's flawed logic. I may only do so because of what I am, and what I am not. It is a wild ride. <laughs> hey, I'll be there when you're on the other side of this. As will I. Trust. They are gonna fuck, bro! What the fuck? She's using all drifters verbiage and shit like brah. I've been conditioned to know better. Amaru. Surprise, sunshine. Thought I'd hack this old holotech and say hello. I don't like this whole let's work together plan, but I don't have to. I've got my orders. Let me play something for you. Tomorrow, if I am indisposed, bide your time. The witness will force the Vanguard's hand eventually. And they'll realize they need information only I possess. One of them will be open to a bargain. Not Mara again, poor dear. More likely Ikora, or her gloomy little hanger on Ares. Give them any help they ask. It'll all be worth it in the end. And tell them something clever to make them think that this was their idea. <laughs> You get all that, Guardian? Sabathun wants me to give you the soft sell. But that's not really my style. So, go ahead. Bust up the throne world. Get as strong as you like. Tithe to Eris until she's fat as a tick. It's all part of Sabathun's plan. Oh, you need any help digging your own grave? Just let me know. This isn't looking good. This looks like the opposite of good. This looks bad. 
This is bad. Chat, I don't need to explain how bad this is. Eris is gonna turn evil. Sabatine's gonna get revived and wreak havoc again. Bro, this this isn't this isn't this isn't good. This isn't good and this is not where it needs to be. It's 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 this is a this is a bad deal. Bad deal. Alright. But that's this week on, weekly story content on Destiny 2. I was just sitting here for a second there like, man. I I don't I don't know how this is gonna turn out okay for us. I don't think it will. But um it it is what it is, you know. It's just Whatever happens, happens, I guess. I don't think this game's gonna have a happy ending anyways. I, it never really does. But, um... I'll see you, Marines of Spartans, on the next mission. Reaming out. Bye-bye.